Good morning everybody. We're going to do a bathing video today with um, Snickers Kittens because they're pretty dirty. So using the Pink Paw Pal products we're going to start with the eye and facial cleansing solution. Then we're going to move on to the ear cleansing solution. And I use this to clean their ears at the beginning of the bath and also I use just a touch of it at the end because it will help get any ex excess water out of the ear canal if you kind of got their ears wet. Then we're going to go on to the degreasing shampoo and this is an important first step for all Persians, uh, Hemis, exotics. Um, they got uh, have fairly greasy skin and coat. Then because these are kittens and they're under eight weeks of age, we're going to use just the facial and kitten shampoo. We're going to use it both on their face and on their body. Normally I would go on to the whitening and silky shampoo, but today we're not because they're kittens. Once they're eight weeks of age, I will use this, add this shampoo into the step. Then we're going to go on to the nourishing conditioner. And you always finish a bath with a little bit of conditioner. Most of these products are concentrated, so um, I do mix them with a little bit of warm water. The other thing is you always start any bath by cutting the kitten or cat's claws. Always have on hand Quick Stop. Just so you know, the Quick Stop, what's great about this, I do happen to cut the nail too short and it bleeds, the quick stop will immediately stop uh, the bleeding. In an emergency situation you could use um, cornstarch, flowers, even sugar, uh, anything to just pack on there, but uh, you don't mess around with a, a claw that is, is bleeding. You need to make sure that you have something on hand ahead of time to stop the bleeding, because it can bleed pretty badly sometimes. So I have this little kitten here. He's almost eight weeks old and he has a very dirty face. I've cut his nails already and now I'm going to wipe his eyes and you can see how he's starting to get a little yellow there. So this is a very gentle, I'm just wiping very gently and getting down there into the edges here and you want to get all the little dirt out and always use one pad on each eye because if there was a an infection in one eye, you didn't want to use a pad and then put it into the other eye. So always use a second pad for the other eye. And you can even, the yellow that's under his chin here, you can even wipe at that. It'll help lighten that up. All these products have very, very gentle ingredients. A lot of them are citrus based, and yes, I just broke my own rule about not using the same pad on both eyes. You can very, you can see a little bit of dirt there. I don't know if it'll pick the camera or pick it up, but his face is pretty dirty. I'll do the ear cleaning. So with the ear, there again, we can use a Q-tip or one of these pads. The easiest way is to bend the ear back like this. That way you have access to the inner part of the ear and you can support it with your thumb. Go down into the folds. And even at not even eight weeks of age yet, their ears can get very dirty by now. And there again, use one pad in each ear. And you can see that it's very discolored. So we'll go on to do his other ear here. Don't go anywhere there, bud. And you gotta get all that hair out of there that folds in there. And just get in there and just wipe it very gently. And if you see something that's right there in the ear canal, you can get it with a Q-tip, but I I highly advise you, do not go down into the ear canal, because you could hurt the animal. Alright, now we're going to start the bath. And I'm going to put some water in this little bowl. And I'm going to squirt a couple pumps of the degreasing shampoo in it. 
was lit up. And you can tell by your fingers, you know, you want it to be a little sudsy. And you can tell how it feels, you know, just like it doesn't feel, it feels similar to how it would feel your shampoo that you would put on your own head. So we're going to gently wet, wet the kitten's coat. Whoop, don't get your feet in here, buddy. And I use a, usually use a washcloth to wash their face, and I'll show you that in a minute. When they're this little, we start trying to teach them that they can stand and kind of hang like that. Even though they're a little small. And then we're going to just pour this mixture over them. Front and back. And then just scrub. One of the areas to really pay attention to on Persians when you're bathing them is, especially in the degreasing process, is right around these ears because if you're not good about keeping their ears clean, the oils and stuff from their ears will make it greasy in those areas, the hair right around the ears. And the hairs will start to separate and they just kind of look ugly. So now we're going to rinse this kitten. I've done a rinse and I've mixed up some of the uh, kitten shampoo and I'm going to very gently with this washcloth clean around his little face. I don't really want to get close to his eyes on this although it is very very gentle and would not hurt him. It's kind of like the Johnson's baby shampoo. No more tears. I'm sorry but when I was a child that stuff stung. I don't care if it said no more tears. So I just want <clears throat> to scrub around his little face. Pretty good here. Try and get some of this discoloration off. All right, I'm going to rinse his little face off. Don't get any soap in your mouth there, buddy. And with the babies, you know, just be just slow and gentle. And sometimes when they're little like this, they end up with a lot of food in their nostrils. Alright, so now we're going to wash this kitten with the kitten shampoo. So I'm just going to pour the rest of it over it. And set him up. Just gently rinse them. And you can even use um, like this cup I have, and you can pour the water over them gently to rinse them that way. Whatever your cat is most comfortable with. I do use this, the water straight from the faucet, and I even use the spray around there, but the baby's kind of young for that. So we're going to just get them really well rinsed. And there again, with Persians, it's really important, the rinsing. It's more important than the washing in some ways. If you don't rinse them thoroughly, they will get greasy fast. And then you kind of defeated the whole purpose of bathing your cat. So you have to make sure that it's really, really, really well rinsed. Okay, so the baby's rinsed, and we're going to go on to the conditioning part. The only time I put conditioner directly on a cat's coat, full strength, is if the cat, because of showing, its coat is just out of condition. It's dry, it's brittle, and you want to do a deep cleanse, uh, conditioning. And in that situation, I put the conditioner directly on the animal. I even dampen down like a bath towel and we'll wrap it around the damp cat with the conditioner all over it. And I'll wait until that damp warm towel cools down, kind of like a hot oil treatment almost. And I'll do, you know, a couple of those towels 
wet them down, wring them out, throw them in the microwave for a couple minutes until they get warm. Then wrap up the conditioned up cat in it, and then you just rinse it out like you normally would. But that would be pretty much a quick synopsis of how a conditioning bath works. One of the steps in a show bath, or if I were to feel when rinsing this cat that I just didn't quite feel I was doing, just didn't feel quite rinsed enough. And you start becoming familiar with your cat's coat and how it feels, just like you are your own hair. And if I don't think they're quite rinsed and I want to do, make sure I get, or like if you have hard water or nasty water, um, I'll use a, the balancing rinsing solution. So let me go grab that. This is the balancing rinsing solution. It's already been mixed up. Um, this is the gallon size or the 4,000 liter size. So I've already got this mixed up and I've already poured it into my little cup here. So let me grab my little kitten who's playing dead on the ground. So we just pour it all over the kitty's coat like that. Make sure it goes through to the end. And then do one final rinse. That balancing rinsing solution is a really good product. It's also the product that we use um, not just at the end of the bath, but if you have a really set in bad uh, stain on the body or stud tail, if you have a feet of male cat. Um, you mix up some of the wink white powder with the balancing solution as the activator and you mix it up into kind of a paste like you the consistency of if you get your hair colored and you apply it to the stain and you leave it on a minimum of 15 minutes uh, maximum is up to an hour and uh, it works really great, the balancing rinsing solution and the wink white powder to get in those set in body stains. So I'm, I'm not rubbing to dry this kitten, I'm more blotting it because um, you don't want to tangle up the hair, but I want to get the excess moisture out of this kitten. So, now we're ready for the dryer. Are you ready? Alright, so I'm going to go put him in the cage dryer downstairs and we're going to go on to victim number two. And then later today, uh, we're going to take pictures. See you guys.